One Sabbath morning, I preached from the text, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And though I did not say so, yet I preached my own experience. I heard my own chains clank while I tried to preach to my fellow prisoners in the dark, but I could not tell why I was brought into such an awful horror of darkness, for which I condemned myself. On the following Monday evening, a man came to see me who bore all the marks of despair upon his countenance. His hair seemed to stand upright, and his eyes were ready to start from their sockets. He said to me, after a little parleying, I never before in my life heard any man speak who seemed to know my heart. Mine is a terrible case, but on Sunday morning you painted me to the life and preached as if you had been inside my soul. By God's grace, I saved that man from suicide and led him into gospel light and liberty. But I know I could not have done it if I had not myself been confined in the dungeon in which he lay. I tell you the story, brethren, because you sometimes may not understand your own experience, and the perfect people may condemn you for having it. But what know they of God's servants? You and I have to suffer much for the sake of the people of our charge. You may be in Egyptian darkness, and you may wonder why such a horror chills your marrow, but you may be altogether in the pursuit of your calling, and be led of the Spirit into a position of sympathy with desponding minds.